Welcome back. You're live with Expresso. Time to be inspired. In South Africa, we have an incredible amount of incredibly talented figure skaters, despite the sport not being highly publicized. In fact, you seldom see news stories about the sport, yet we have some incredible exponents, especially young skaters in the country. So we are going to address that right now. Two cooler than ice local figure skaters. I didn't script that, I promise you. Gian Quinn, um, Isaacs and Evan Wrench will be competing internationally, representing our country next month. And you had to join us uh, to chat a little bit about their, I would imagine, pretty intense training regimes, what it takes to reach the level that they have. They're gonna be on the couch along with Megan and Danton, their coaches. Very proud coaches, I would imagine. Yeah. Um, guys, welcome to it. Um, thank you thank so you. much for joining us. Um, Gian Quen, I was, I was joking, say I've never had a Gian Quen on, on our, <laughs> our couch before, so it, it really is cool to, to connect with you. I think very few people know that we have skaters operating on the level that you guys have to be now to be winning gold medals, um, to be SA champion, to be able to compete internationally because the standard is incredible. How did you get into it? How does someone living in a country with zero ice and zero snow get into figure skating? What was, Jennifer, what was the, the buying point for you? Well, my journey started. <laughs> um, I was going to do ice hockey, but I needed the ice time, so I decided to join a club called Junior Blades on a Saturday morning. And Junior Blades? <laughs> yeah, <good. laughs> <laughs> um, two weeks in, Danton actually, um, he referred me to Megan and the rest is history. <laughs> Danton, what did, what did you see that kind of lit that light bulb for you? Um, I think um, Gian was always really, really talented and I'm the head coach of the club. And so obviously it's my job to identify also skaters that are really talented and at the time, um, uh, Megan had just started coaching, so she was a new coach, and I felt that it would be an opportunity for Perfect her opportunity. to mm. yeah. have a, a young skater. And well, like I say, the rest is just blown <laughs> out. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. I, I would imagine that relationship has to be be. Uh, there's a lot of trust, but you've got to push yeah. each other. Um, how much do you have to push yourself, Evan? Because you're out there alone. As much as you've got a team around you, if you're representing your your country, if you're going for a title, it's it's just you and the ice. Yeah, dude. it is. It is quite a difficult thing because you're. It's such a training. It's quite a team sport. But when you get out onto the ice in competition, it's very alone. So it is quite a difficult thing, and you know it's it's something to take into consideration that it's only you out there and like you have to go and do it and that's the one but shot. That's awesome. That's it what, is awesome. That's what it, being a champion is about. It's, yeah. it's proving yourself. How, how hard do you have to train to achieve the level that that these two youngins have achieved in such a short amount of time? Again? Well, um, Gian, she trains at least twice a day, uh, five to six times a week and that's on the ice and then she also does off ice for an hour uh, for five times a week. It's yeah. like lifting. <laughs> yeah, in the gym. Uh, that is, it's one of the yeah. most athletically demanding sports ever. So how do you prepare to, So, if I've got this right, we've got, um, you're both going to be competing in Latvia. Mm -hmm. um, Gian Quen, you're going to, to Poland to, to compete. How much do you have to ramp it up to enter into the international field? Because now you're, you're, you're running with the big dogs. Yeah. yeah. I think it takes a, a season of uh, preparation. You have to periodize the skater and you decide when the very important date is when you need to pick at which time and then prepare you know work out your plan to prepare to pick at that exact time mm -hmm. and sometimes it's not always it doesn't work like that sometimes they are injured or something happens and you have to adjust it and change the plan completely to accommodate that again and then rebuild it and restart and so it is a a game of chess. It's going to be alright, man. It's going to be alright, man. I can, I can see the numbers in your head, like yeah. you can do it. Um, do you guys have, have signature moves? Is there because this there is so much about the athletic ability, being able to do the tricks, but there's a performance in which you're yeah. essentially also dancing on ice. And as someone who's delved into that the Latin and Borum space, that so much of it rests on your ability to be able to do the athletic, mm. achieve that level. What, do you have a signature move, something that you do that? That's kind of people know you for. Yeah, spread eagles or like in a bower. <laughs> it's something that I always do in programs and in competition that I've always done basically from 
a pretty young age. I've mm. always been doing it, so I think that's pretty much it, doing that and pretty much doing my toe jumps in my program. I love it. <laughs> and, and dominating, and just dominating. So what's, what's the end goal here? Olympics, what, what is, the, what is the, the, the goal for you guys as, as young athletes? What do you want to achieve out of this? Well, next coming season, I think for, for both of us, is definitely Junior Worlds. Um, where you have to qualify your program, so you have to skate, get a certain amount of points to, to qualify to get to that stage. So, and you can only do that at an international competition, so we're mm -hmm. trying to aim for that. Well, yeah. you, you've already, <laughs> I want to say, kind of on that path, but, but you're yeah. rocketing towards that. Um, please keep us updated. Please, yeah. once you guys have returned um, from these championships <laughs> with those valuable points, please come come and join us again and, and keep us updated. I think there are a lot of young skaters that would be amazed to know that we have got um, skaters of this caliber, coaches yeah. of this caliber in the country. So thank you so, yeah. so much for joining us, guys. Thank don't you. break a leg. I won't say that to a <laughs> Please don't, don't, don't. <laughs> Just stay healthy. Um, and we'll put their social media details up on our social media platform so you can show them a little bit of love as well.